there, thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a simple stylized traditional swallow. I'll take you through the different stages, from creating simple shapes and lines and turning them into a more defined sketch, all the way through to adding the line work and the final color scheme. I begin by plotting out my work area, which also helps create the proportions of the bird. For this, I draw a box. This allows me to see the area that I have to work within. And then I divide the box into sections by adding lines from corner to corner. This sections the box into four, as well as giving me my center point. The swallow will be swooping down, flying from left to right, so the bulk of the design will be in the two right sections. Using the center lines as a guide, I begin by sketching a teardrop shape for one of the wings. I then add another one in the other section, as symmetrical as I can, but with a slight change in scale due to this wing being closer in perspective. For the body, I sketch a simple oval using the center line as a guide for the top of the back or the spine, and then add a circle for the head. I add a couple of curved lines either side of the center line to construct the tail. I add some lines to section the wings, where eventually I'll add the different layers of feathers. I begin adding detail and structure to the wings by marking out the directional flow and uniform of the feathers. details such as the beak and the eye, as well as joining the head with the body with some smooth curves. Some final embellishments with the feathers and the sketch is ready for inking.
Once the line work is done, it's now time to add the color. As this is based on a traditional swallow design, I will keep the color palette to a minimum. Based on the design, I've decided to go for four colors. So I figured the best way to choose the specific colors would be to use the tetraiadic color harmony selection. This is when you choose a specific color. The palette then pre-selects another three equal distances away from each other on the color wheel, meaning that these colors will work in harmony with each other based on the hues and values within them. None will dominate, overpower, or contrast. I choose specific areas for each color and also add some peppered shadows and highlights. give it a more interesting background and a few other final touches and it's done. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.